kind of shoes, truly simply bird. What's good in the neighborhood? What's the word on the curb? Hey man, um, as y'all can tell from the title, you know what I'm saying? We finna be sharing our worst basketball experience and our best basketball experience. Um, we gonna start with worst, go to best, and yeah, we gonna jump right into it. Um, who wants to go first? Anybody wanna like just say it, say it? You wanna go further? I'm not gonna listen. All right, but. Worst? Yeah, start with the worst. Worst. I don't know. Ah, worst. I don't really have that many bad ones, you know. Uh, let me see. It's only like two of them that come, three of them that come to mind. One of them is, this one, I don't know if I count this one, because this is before I actually was playing basketball for real. But it was, uh, we went to the court with our dad and his friends one day to a gym. And this other kid crossed me and my dad friends were laughing i'm thinking it's because my shoes i'm like my shoes got mad grip so i like i got crossed but i didn't know back then that that's just a crossover so i got crossed and so i don't know if i count that one but that's yeah. probably that uh because i ain't never been crossed after that so but uh it could also be uh the time when i was uh in 10th grade and I, um, I could have dropped 20 points in the fourth quarter, but I missed no, 11 free throws. Bad. So yeah, I could have yeah. dropped 20 points all in the fourth quarter, but I missed 11 free throws. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, and then, um, what's the other But that might be it. So which one after those two, if that's it? It might be the, uh, the 11 free throws, cause I was in 10th grade. The other one, I was going to the sixth grade. Well, I was in the sixth grade, so yeah, like, nah, definitely the free throws. I, it's no way I should have missed them. After that, that night, I, I stayed up to like, we got home at like ten. I stayed up to like three shooting free throws. So yeah, nah. He was going off that game, like, whoa, wait, crazy. Is this OP or slam? No, that's Park. Orange Park. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I was in front of all our friends too. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I even made a full court shot. It didn't count, but I made a full court he shot to end the game and. Yeah, but uh, only if you still had the footage, man. That was, career was hell hostage. I would always say that. Nah, no cap. He, uh, he should have been the best Oakley point guard of all time. No cap. That was my worst thing. Missing him. He was. They just didn't know. Yeah. I mean, the game before that, I didn't even play. That second game was the one I dropped the points, and then I went from not playing to six man that fast. So, yeah. All right. Now, what would you say is your best? Your best basketball experience. Uh, it would have been that one, honestly. If I would have made them points, 20 in one quarter? Yeah, definitely that. But uh, it was uh, when I played for a prep school, and I, um, two, two, three, three games in a row, I dropped 25 plus. So, and I uh, won the game, I was like four for five from the three. So, I mean, I'm not a three-point shooter, so that's, that's good for me, but... Uh, yeah, so 20, 25 in a um, prep school uh, tournament, so yeah, uh, three straight games. That's my best thing. But yeah, so yeah. Right. Your, your video, I'll let you go last. Okay. Okay, okay. this is easy for me. The worst. Oh, uh, right. real quick. We already talked about this, like, before we, uh, when I came up with this video idea, me and Sherrod was just so into the idea. We literally talked about both of our best and worst idea. But yeah, go ahead, Rob. My fault. So I have. It's it's. I only have one, but I really want to. I want to find a second one just to see. But I'm gonna just go ahead and say it. So my worst basketball experience is it was like eight seconds left on the clock, losing in the finals. And this guy, <laughs> instead of being, you know, uh, Sports a, a, a oh. good sport, came up the court. I'm gonna show the clip too. <laughs> and he started dancing with the ball. <laughs> and this is in the finals of a, of a league we play in all like every it's year. It's a summer league. And um, we weren't supposed to be in the finals in general. So the fact that that happened. And then, you know, he danced in front of us, you know, that, that hurt. 
And then, um, yeah, that scarred me forever, no cap. Yeah, that crap. And then the best moment. It's got to be that next year. Is working that entire, off, like, basically off season for the league and then coming back and winning the championship. If not that, it was finally making the high school team because I was robbed my first and second year. So, yeah, it's either that or finally making the high school team. So, yeah. Y'all digging deep. Let me think for a second. Um, nah, I don't really got nothing. All right. My um, <clears throat> my worst basketball moment, um, it was the uh, the Summer League Sherrod was just talking about. And um, it was the second year. Now, the first year, my first year, I did really good. So, like, the second year, you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, expectations. I'm like, okay, cool. First game of the season. Or the first game of like the preseason, I play him. And he had one of our friends on his team. Oh. When I tell you, I have never been locked up that bad playing basketball a day in my life. After the game, I was so mad. I like started crying. <laughs> like, bro, like, he clamped me up. Like, I'm going to show the one highlight from that game. It's literally me doing a behind the back. <laughs> like, it was that bad. My only highlight from that game is doing a behind the back, bro. Like, just think about that. So, no, nah, that goes without saying my worst basketball experience right there. But luckily, after that, my dad talked to me, and the next game, I did really good. Now, my best basketball experience is two of them. Um, I'm going to say which one is the number one, though. Yeah, I'm with one. Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just saying two because you had said two. So I'm just going to say two. And then if you want to say two after I'm done, you can say. Oh, I'm going to throw something in there. Okay. So I'm going to pick the number one, but I'm just going to say two of them that I feel are equal. Um, The first one was the season before, the one I was just talking about when I got embarrassed offensively. Um, My team, I was the second best player on the team. And our rivalry was strong. Raw team. We played them like four times and like every time it was a good game. You know what I'm saying? So I think we had already beat them one time or two times. And this game, the best player on my team wasn't there. So they thought they were just going to cakewalk on us. And I was like, okay. I had my career high that game and dropped like 25, 23 points and got the dub. So no, nah, that was easily one of my best and if it's not that, then it was my um the year I played City League. It was the second year of City League. Um, <laughs> what? I, he didn't throw this in there, but to end the game off, he had a buzzer beater on me from three. So. Oh yeah, and, and we it was, was it was contested. So. And we was already winning. I just yeah, yeah like because I think they were down by three or two, yeah. and I stole the ball, shot it, hit the buzzer. I got the clip. I put it in there. That hurt. Um, put the clip in there. <laughs> and like I was saying, the city league, um, I had already played one year. The second year, both of the um it was like it was like we had like a big three. I guess you could technically say I was like the third of the big three. Like I was like second and third at the same time. But the second year, both of them went and played high school basketball. They made the teams and I was left there. Um Juan and um what's his face? I don't remember. I was there by myself, and I had to carry a trash team, like garbage, like literally. And the in the first game of the season, I dropped like 15, like three boards, six assists, like I went off, and I only lost by five points. But like that first game, like they were there, they can vouch. Like I, I did my thing, like no joke. So when you got the no, no, that was the first season, but. Um, Nah, if I had to pick, I'd probably say the um the one where I played Rod, just because like because how intense our rivalry was as a team, like his team versus my team, that really meant a lot. Like me going by myself, just dropping twenty something, killing him. So yeah. And what was the one you said you was gonna throw in? Second worst experience is I was ten, and I, I used to drop like twenty a game, never won. Oh, so. Yeah, that that was horrible. Yeah, yeah. that was horrible. Yeah, that sucks. But um, yeah, 
that's in a video. Y'all got any like experiences like worse or good in general that's like y'all just want to throw out there or y'all think that's it? Worse or so good. I mean, this one, this one for me is big because I don't know. I never thought, I always thought, you know, when you leave, I don't know when, because like Florida, not Florida, Chicago, you know, other it's other bigger basketball states than Florida. Oh, yeah, yeah. So when I left out of Florida and went to college in Texas and they had people from Louisiana, Kentucky, Chicago, and all those people out there, like at the school now and I'm hooping with them, it was dope to realize I still had the quickest first step that they, uh, they'd ever seen, so yeah. Okay. All right, you got any? Uh, I think the only thing I can say was a good experience, uh, honestly, uh, probably when I got good enough to where it's like, um, like, you could really see I was, like, really good, because, like, I was, like, if we all played for real back in the day, like, first, he never played me for real, I told y'all that before. Like he's never he never played me for real, and um, like with Rod, I just could never stop Rod. So like when I actually got good enough to where it's like okay, I can like actually start holding my own. I may not win, but I can hold my own. I really started liking that, and it made me just want to keep play, like practicing more and more. So I think that was a big moment for me. But yeah, that's it though. All right, that's it. Um. Give me some videos y'all want to see. I already got a gang load of videos, literally like all on my phone. I would show y'all, but I don't want none of my ideas to get stolen. I ain't gonna lie. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I think we finna go hoop right now. Might get a video there. Um, and yeah, uh, give my videos to do. Give my videos to react to. I'm get to a SAP PPP. And yeah, man, go ahead and like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe, click the bell so you be notified every time I post a video. Share the video to your worst. I messed that up. Mm. <laughs> Share the video to your worst enemies. Yes, people. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, share, subscribe, all the bullcrap. And we out. I stay messing up my intro, my outro at all the time. Man. It's that's getting crazy. bad. I ain't gonna lie. Spoiler alert. Huh? I still don't play him for real. Yeah, I know that. Oh, that hurt.